OK, question 13 here asks us to work out the length of A to C. So that's the length from here up to here. So it's this length and then this length as well. That length there. So I'm given these lengths. So let's, let's start with this triangle over here. Let's try and start with a bit dodgy, but you can get the idea. This right angle triangle, which goes C, B, D, and that's A, and that's 10. Well, using Pythagoras' theorem, I know that BC squared is equal to 10 squared subtract 8 squared. This line here is computed to be as the hypotenuse, so it's the longest line, so it's got a bit shorter, so I'm subtracting x squared. So therefore, bc squared is 100 minus 64, which equals 36. Therefore, bc, bc is equal to square root 36, which is just 6. So I'm going to put that in a diagram here, so from there to there. Now, that tells us that to work out this length, I'm going to use Pythagoras again. So, if I just change colour, and we're now looking at this triangle down here, so that's A, B, and C. Sorry about the dodging. You know, this one was 4. This is the one we just calculated, which was 6. And this is the one I want to find. So let's have a quick look back up at our diagram. So we want to find the hypotenuse in this case. So I know that AC squared is equal to 4 squared plus 6 squared. So AC squared is equal to 16 plus 36. Or AC squared is equal to 52. So there to work out the value of AC, I'm going to find the square root of 52 which is uh, 7.2111025151. It wants it to three significant figures. If I take the first three digits, check for rounding, it's going to say there's none. 7.21. Finished.